And of course hot glue is my best friend to keep the cable safe. So the magic. This Chinese thing is from Skydroad, but there are also other e-machine uh, brands, but they're all the same. This is with a dual antenna, you have also with a single antenna. It's just an analog receiver. What uh, most people are difficult with it, it didn't always work. The reason for that is it needs 5 volts in. And apparently Samsung S-series are famous of giving uh, 5 volts out of their standard uh, USB-C. If not, this thing will not work. Little trick for this, it has here some connectors. Yes, there it is. There is a 5 volt and ground in on the right. But it's not a standard connector. So uh, what I did, I opened it and looked for a 5 volt and a ground pin to solder on and I found it. What's the magic now? You have your tack and you need a power source external. You click it here in. Then you need also the URS tool, like this. Voila. And I will make a screen record of it. But now, the magic. You just need this extra source power only to power it up so you can you will get uh, a message on your android that you have connected a usb-c to pc camera and click ok we go to your s tool now you can get this off and now it stays so this can go away and there it goes. Now let's take the Orca MRM. There we go. Here we are. And with the Mavlink protocol on Orca, we can see your FPV flying intact and you can share it through the server, private server of you all guys. So um, I hope I could help you out and yeah, give it a try. I have here on my microscope, there's a pad, five volts and ground. D plus D min, that's for uh, USB-C, but you just need power from it and that's enough. That will feed it and you can then directly disconnect and uh, you're good to go.